Well, I, you know, I think I'd love to say it was absolutely sewn up, you know, for Liz Truss. Say, you know, I'm certainly backing her. But I think people are genuinely interested about what both candidates are, you know, are saying. I think it's good for members in Scotland to get the chance to put forward their questions to them and to make sure because, you know, one of these two people are going to be our Prime Minister. And I think it's really important that, you know, Scottish members get the chance to engage and that people across Scotland, you know, are able to hear what both candidates are saying, their plans, their policies. You know, Scotland is a country that not very long ago voted to stay a part of the United Kingdom. So it's really key that the Conservative and Unionist Party is paying attention to all parts of the country. And one of the things certainly I'm really heartened by is both candidates seem to be taking the concerns of people in Scotland really seriously, which is good and I think bodes well for the union going forward, whether it's Liz or Rishi. I suppose one of the big questions is, is there that much of a difference between Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak when it comes to union policy? We're hearing that both of them wouldn't want to accept uh, another partition referendum within this parliament. Both of them saying that the 2014 vote should last, as it said, for a generation. Uh, where's the difference between these candidates? I mean, I don't think anyone will be surprised that, you know, the Conservative Party leadership candidates are both pro-UK, you know, they're in favour of the union, they want to respect that once in a generation vote. People in Scotland don't want a second referendum, so it's good that both candidates are backing. But, you know, being no doubt, what what are what is being discussed across the country in terms of the economy, defence, lots of different issues are just as relevant in Scotland. I suspect in Perth tonight, what members will be asking. Yes, we'll be talking about the union and how we can beat the SNP, but also things about our taxes, about how we address the cost of living crisis, about how we make sure we improve the economy, improve people's lives. You know, Scotland isn't a one issue country, no matter how much Nicola Sturgeon might like it to be. There's a range of things we want to talk about. And, you know, I'm really, you know, glad that both candidates are up and engaging seriously. We've got people from across the party backing both, getting really active in the campaign, and that can only be good. And, you know, hopefully we'll have a good hustings tonight. We'll get a good range of questions fielded by both candidates.